Welcome back to Elden Ring. Let's explore up north here. Now that we've already been over to the ninth Mount Kelmir campsite and fought that star beast thing. Cave and then seek projectile weapon. Volcano cave. Oh, I think I have almost enough to level up. Let's make sure I have enough. Another point in endurance. One more stamina. Be wary of suffering. Oh! Did you- you went and found your way all the way around to get to me, didn't you? This is the only way that doesn't involve falling down a large height that I think might hurt me. So let's go this way. already. No sorcerer ahead. Oh, they just tossed aside their staff and just were like, ah, oh, fuck this. I'm gonna get you. Oh, 
Okay, I'm curious. Does this lead down to the same place? Or is there something else up here? shield. Oh, it's a small shield. Causes poison buildup. Armament designed for gladiatorial glad... No, I said that right. Gladiatorial combat. Rises above its peers as a particularly showy specimen. The sculpted bronze snake is a poisonous breed, boosting the wielder's resistance to poison. Unique skill Viper Bite. Oh, and the special ability brings the Viper to life. Oh, we gotta see this thing work. The stats, by the way, guard boost, terrible, physical, ter I mean, yeah, its protection is pretty terrible, but it is a small shield. Oh, and it is so tiny. That is so cool. How much FP is that taking? Uh, not that much. It also seems to have pretty long range. Why is it always flower? Let's see if I can pull off the laser beam death. Laser beam strat. Defeated. Jar cannon. It's a ballista. I don't know if I've ever had a weapon type of ballista. Range is 50? That's really far. It takes 34 strength. Oh, 15 is the weight. This thing is super heavy. Jar cannon, which uses explosives to fire great bolts, deals great damage, but is slow to reload. Experimental firearm brought to the assault on Volcano Manor, where it was discovered that no one knew how to use it. <laughs> Whoops. Uses explosives to fire great bolts. Can I use this thing at all? I'm really curious what it looks like. Oop, I went way too far. Mm. Wait, was it great bolts? So not a great arrow, but a great... Wait, do I have a great bolt? Oh, I do. Mm, explosive. Explosive seems appropriate. That's really cool. I want to use it on an enemy at a distance because it has a range of 50, which is really far. Yeah, horrible damage, of course. Unupgraded, and I don't have the skills to use it. 
This thing's actually not that slow to reload, though. It is so cool. Oh yeah, let's poison someone. Is that reaching? Is that hitting them at all? I, I'm not getting any feedback. Huh? Like, it looks like it's reaching them, but there's no, like, feedback that they're actually getting hit. And they're not getting poisoned, definitely. Okay, whoa, all the other ones missed? That's odd. Did only take one hit to infect them then. Let's try on something else. Okay, hit them in one go. And yeah, infected them in one go. I guess I just need to be closer and it's not going quite as far as it looked like. That's such a cool attack. Poison did it do again? 72. Well, I think we're done with that area. We have this request from the Volcano Manor, which feels completely irrelevant now that we've kind of finished the Volcano Manor and they left and just kind of gave up, gave up on the place. And I don't want to do it anyway, but I am curious just what will happen if I go here. They requested me to kill another tarnished, Istvan. I'm not actually going to do it, I don't think, but I just want to see. Is Istvan here? Can I speak with them? Oh, are they a summon? Betrayal. No friend ahead. Invade old knight Istvan's world. No thank you. Wasn't the spirit up here? I think they were there before. I think they're just sad that they aren't being let inside to the gladiator arena. Yeah. Let's continue on the Altus Plateau, starting from the Grand Lift of Dactus. Uh, we're almost back to exploring the area in between the two layers of walls, but there's a little bit here unexplored. So I want to see if there's anything on this. I think that's a bridge? And it looks like there's a crater here, which must be something interesting. Looks like there's a valley here. There's a road that leads to it. Maybe that's something. Ahead. Oh, this isn't on the map at all, but there's a camp.
Just a bunch of guards chilling. Let's go check out that crater. What if we'll find another, like, star beast? I guess they're mining the fragments that fell from it. It seems like the Lindell soldiers are watching over whoever these people are, forcing them to mine. Oh, there is another Falling Star Beast. Can I manage Comet Azure kill? Very unlikely. This thing moves around quite a bit. But I'm gonna try. Yeah, stay right there. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Thank you. Very polite. I love my laser beam of death. Smithing stones, smithing stones, bunch of gravity things. <laughs> what a ridiculous boss fight. <sighs> uh. Ooh, they look... Oh, that looks like the bossy fight at the very beginning of the game. Or, well... It's at the beginning of the game, but you don't fight it at the beginning unless you are masochistic or something. Mm. See if I can laser beam one of them down. I don't have unlimited mana. Oh. Okay. Eh. Got him halfway down. Oh, I think the other one noticed. No. Comet. Azure. Comet. Comet. Azure. Four hundred damage. Oh yeah, sweet. Well, I don't just want to exploit the fact that they can't fit in this little area, and I know how to fight them. So, I fought you before. Let's do it. This one's a little different. It's got like a fire attack.
Why is it always a weak foe? <laughs> Earth tree. Wait, I got an Earth tree great shield. I don't think that popped up for some reason. Maybe I accidentally skipped it. 30 strength and 12 faith. Ah, oh, it has golden retaliation. That's probably a thing they do where they reflect spells back on the caster. Weighty great shield forged of gold carried by the order of tree sentinels, heavily equipped knights. Blessed by an old incantation of protection. The living rampart of the Erd Tree, the Tree Sentinels, are the standard to which all defenders of the Erd Tree aspire. Golden Retaliation. Ready the shield to unleash its protective incantation. This will dispel sorceries and incantations, retaliating with golden power. I have defeated them. I can now enter the capital, which I already finished. See if there's anything else on this path. I guess it's not a bridge, it's just a very, very grand entrance. Pointing over here. Try ranged battle from here. Probably talking about the bosses. over here. Probably a flower releasing a great cloud of poison. I just want to know if there's something in this corner. Hole ahead. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's a cave. Always check your corners. Perfumer's Grotto. That's where you're supposed to go. So, over here first. Oh, yeah, that was it. Treasure chest. Ah.
Oh, these flowers are so pretty. Ranged required ahead, okay. Oh. Some snails, bunch of snails. Hope that's not what they're referring to because I'm not killing those. Nothing there at all. Just a sense of accomplishment. Try fire, be wary of pear. Fire, time for throwing fire required ahead. Okay, I don't really use fire, but we do have some really powerful things to throw, like Volcano Pot. Creates heat cloud causing continuous fire damage. Hmm. Which one would be better, that or Giant's Flame? Throw at enemies to inflict, inflict heavy fire damage. This one uses Volcanic... Volcanic stones. This one uses fire blossoms. I think fire blossoms are more rare. I mean, I certainly have less of them. Oh, I have a couple holy pots. I've had those forever, I guess. Look at it on fire. It's not doing that much damage, but it looks really cool and dramatic being on fire. Oh, it's on fire for a long time, but it doesn't take damage after the start, like after the first hit. Yeah, that's kind of terrible, actually. Great Omen Killer Cleaver. Oh, that's my third one. Okay. <laughs> well, that's not very special. Yeah, wait. There's a teleport back to the beginning, but we know that there's more to this cave. We saw it. No hidden path ahead in short, in short seek tunnel. Sounds like maybe to get to the other side, we have to enter like a different cave. Maybe... Maybe the Altus Tunnel, which we've already been inside of. Like, maybe this is a shared dungeon, kind of. Yeah, try turn back and then seek tunnel. Ooh, this is going to be good. Oh, damn. 
Dang. I was hoping I'd break their poise or something. Almost did it, though. Okay, let's see what we can find on the rest of this... Uh, the entrance way, I guess. that beetle. Oh, they have some artillery. All right, and there's this little pathway I wanted to check. Ill-omened creature ahead. Lots of cute little babies. Whoa, Amber Starlight. It's a key item. Try message? Seems to be a dead end. Yeah, okay, so what is that? Ingredient used in special drought. An ephemeral sliver that gives off a pale amber glow. What remains of a passing flash of starlight. If the stars command our fates, then amber-hued stars must command the fates of the gods. Such is the belief that inspired the use of these shards to prepare a most special drought cannot be consumed by mere humans. Ooh, what's that going to be for? Oh, I have so many key items. Creepy ass grape. An ever damp am amniotic serpent sack tonic that makes people forget. God, so much. A couple of seedbed curses. Now let's check out the area between the two layers of walls, just outside the capital. So we ran through here just to get the... Oh, it was the map fragment, right? Um, there's a building there, there's a cave there. There's a minor Erd tree. Okay, well, those are the super obvious things. Yeah, let's go check out this place down south.
Is this a moat? Yeah. Oh, hey! You can get down there, because there's one of those, like, invisible beetles. Oh, I can get down there just right over there, actually. Okay, well, that's one place I have to check out. down there in the water. I think. Yeah. Minor Earth Tree Church. Oh, it's a real stubby little Earth Tree. Missionary Cookbook 4. Holy Grease, Drawstring Holy Grease, Halic Bone Arrow, Arrow Fletched Bolt. Golden Order Seal. A formless sacred... Wait, is that the same as this one? Uh, similar. A formless sacred seal depicting the ceremonial observation of order. Enhances golden order fundamentalist incantations. Fundamentalism is scholarship in all but name. Scales incantations using both intelligence and faith. Such a tiny herd tree. Dog. Yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, friends with the birds. Is that something we can go to? Possibly. It's on the map. Let's head down into the water. Be wary of hole. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a spirit spring over there. Might bring you up right to the front entrance to the capital. just as fast as me. Idea. 
Wait, I thought you could keep it going. Forever. Whew. Asher for Prayerful Strike. Oh, I think I couldn't keep it going forever because I don't have enough strength. Hmm. Oh my god. I think this is the highest one yet. Yeah, I didn't expect too high up. understand why it didn't offer me my second jump. Like, why it didn't allow me to. I waited a long time to use it, but still. I only jumped once. Yeah, I bet these messages are saying don't do it. <laughs> Spirits bring ahead except visions of death. Yeah. Well, it sounds like it is doable. Maybe I'll just use both my jumps right away. Like, get me close? Yeah, I'm close enough. Whew. Let's get that cave. Sandy. Sealed tunnel. Here? Oh. Smithing Stone Miners, Bell Bearing 2. Okay, I think that's going to give me Tier 3 and 4 Smithing Stones. Ah. That's going to be a relief. I can finally upgrade some weapons I've been meaning to try, but have been way, way, way too unupgraded to be worth a damn.
I think someone needs a laser beam, perhaps? Oh. I guess you can't aim it very far downwards. Oh no. Ow. I don't know if I've ever been hit by those before. They actually hurt a lot. Are these not more of them? Oh, they are. Pathways. Some just don't want to explode. I thought maybe it was if the eye isn't like in your direction and won't see you, but no, the eye's right here. but to go deeper. I don't think I can get back. Giant pickle. Mm-hmm. could try parrying or I could try death laser it's probably gonna miss but let's do it 
I have 10 seconds to death laser you. Where are you? That's not right. There we go. Wow, holy shit. Okay. <laughs> uh, am I going to have to say the uh, death lasers off limits? Is it going to trivialize all the bosses? I doubt it. All they have to do is just dodge to the side. That's all they have to do. Onyx Lord's greatsword. Curved greatsword. Strength, dex, and int. Not that much strength, though. 20. Could almost one-hand it. Onyx Lord's repulsion is the special. Thrust the armament into the ground to create a gravity well. In addition to dealing damage, this attack sends enemies flying away. Wait, where is this? <gasps> it led to this tower we were just looking at. Oh. Oh, there's a side of grace. This is one of the divine towers, isn't it? Divine Tower of West Altus Gate. Oh, enough to level up as well. Mm. Dex. Do I have anything to power up in here? Apparently I do. I think Margit's rune, probably? Or not Mar Margit, um... I totally forgot their name. Whatever the big boss is that we fought last. I'll remember by the time we get to the top. I still don't remember. Card. That's actually not the boss I was thinking of. Do we already power up the other one? Hold on. Um, which ones do we have? Radon, yeah. No, not Godric. Did we not get one from the other person we killed? I guess not. Or maybe... I don't know. Anyway, what does it do? Restores HP upon defeating enemies. Hmm. Probably a large amount of HP. Interesting. So that's... Yeah, it's quite different from the others. So far, the two that we have are just like straight up buffs of a bunch of your stats, like most of them. Which makes it good for pretty much everything. But this means that it's really only good when you have like adds or smaller enemies. If you're fighting just a single boss, this would be completely pointless. Unless it had adds. So this one's quite different. Yeah, I looked it up on the wiki. It restores 80 HP plus 7% of your total HP. So that's that's a lot. I think that makes it probably the best. Well, I, no, definitely the best out of all of them that I have for just general exploring. Because it helps keep me alive in just general... Yeah, just general exploring. Again, useless for bosses unless there's a bunch of ads or something, but... Definitely better than just a general stat upgrade. Let's take it. Uh, is it working now or do I have to use something again? I'm not sure, but we have a lot of other pathways to explore in the sealed tunnel. Okay, so we've been that way, I think, behind my head. 
But I don't think we went this way. And we definitely didn't go down. Oh no! Let's look at how much HP I get back from this kill. Uh, oh, I guess the rune isn't active, is it? Yeah, I think when you switch it out, you have to redo it. Um, I need you to break this statue over here. Yes, that did it. So check my HP gain right now. Yeah, there we go. That's quite good. Three smithing stone sixes. Okay, looks like that's everything that's down here. Uh, not bloodstain, not message. No, am I on the back of it? Wait, what? What is with the... Pr there we go. I have... That's so weird. You can't use it if you're, like, pressed up against it. I have to be... Back a little bit. Like, right... No. No. There. Right there. I wonder how that misalignment happens. We've seen it with two sites of grace now, and now a ladder. Like, are they all manually placed triggers, maybe? Yep, that's it for the sealed tunnel. So, back to exploring up here. Hmm. Let's check out that little, like, in-between place. Is there anything there? That's where you come up from the spirit spring down in the water. Don't really need... Any more fire butterflies? I think I probably have a hundred. Oh, finger reader crumb. Wait, I think I listened to this person already. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember why I stopped for them and only them. <laughs> and didn't even get this. It's a pathway up directly, yeah, right here. Like, can I actually enter the capital from here? <gasps> oh, 
Ooh, scarab. Come on, target it. Tar target it. Why can't I target you? There we go. Ashavor Golden Parry. They're all trying to get in. Yep, it is sealed. bets as to what the message is about. I'm guessing it's either Elden Ring or like stick your dick in the hole. Oh no, just likely hole. Yeah. It is, isn't it? Okay, let's explore up here towards the minor Erd tree. Oh, that was a, those are cool moves. Do it again. Oh, 
That's so cool. Oh, right. I forgot to put them down for good. Eh. What have you got? Rune arcs? Let's buy them all. Perfume bottle? I'll buy that. Sentry's torch? Huh, I wonder what's different about that one. I need more money, though. Golden Room 10. Oh, it's only 5,000. Something. Distinguished Great Shield. Oh, the card boost is amazing. Damn heavy, though, and requires 32 strength. Oh, this requires faith. Aw. Torch given to protectors of the Erd Tree. Its flames are bestowed with a special incantation which allows the bearer to see assassins cloaked in veils. Furnished on behalf of the Erd Tree and the grace given lord such that a knight of black knives will never come again. Hmm. I guess I won't buy it if I can't use it, but it's neat. Prophet. Oh, this is the prophet stuff starting gear. Do I want to look like I'm under house arrest? No. Ooh. These are actually kind of pretty. Consort's trousers. Fine white trousers, perfectly suited for wearing beneath a silk robe. And note about below the capital. Oh, wait, hold on. That's not profit stuff. Upper class robe. <laughs> Embroidered bright green robe worn by noble children. Donning such a robe is traditionally the child's first show of burgeoning independence. Probably not going to wear that, but let's check it out. It's the closest thing to a dress I've found in a while. Now, the armor would be extremely light if I switched these out for... Consort's trousers. But how does it look? I mean, yeah. Looks nice. And the upper class robe. And yeah, it's nice looking. But it's not a dress. And it looks kind of moldy. Oh, it's you! Oh! The skull snail! Glad to see they're used more than just one time. Oh, that must be another one! Yeah! the place. Deathbird. Winged Crystal Tear. Oh. I 
Might as well use those up. No, don't kill them, you meanie. I'm not going to be able to cast Comet Azure at all. Oh no, Torrent. Twinbird Kite Shield. That doesn't look too bad. Looks like one of those deathbed, or not deathbed, uh, ah, whatever that, like, curse is the Dung Eater puts on people. Looks like one of those creatures. Let's take a look at that shield. Twin Bird Kite Shield. Oh, it's got 100 physical protection. Mm, guard boost is too worse, although, actually... I think the guard boost went up when I upgraded this thing, so... Yeah, if I kept upgrading this, I think it would end up at least as good as this, if not better. In guard. So physical, yeah, it's good. Magic is worse, of course, but fire and lightning is better. Doesn't use int at all. Not that it matters. Hmm. Yeah, it's very similar. Might be nice as a change of pace. Shield featuring, featuring a vividly painted twin bird. The twin bird is said to be the envoy of an outer god and mother of the death birds. At dwindling levels of HP, this shield slightly boosts both attack and defense. Hmm. Well, you know if it says slightly, then they really mean slightly. So it's probably not very significant, but it would be nice for a change of pace. Let's see. See what it looks like. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty. I'm gonna go with it. Pickle required ahead. Right, fuck the hole with your giant cock. Mm-hmm. Is that a catapult? Oh no, giants with bows. Oh, you're shooting at me now. Okay.
in combat, of course. Okay, no, that's not going to work. That's weird. The map shows the base of the earth tree being here, but it's absolutely not. It's more like here. you a normal one? They look normal. Yeah, they're normal. Twiggy Cracked Tier, Crimson Crystal Tier, so we have three new tiers to check out. We've got a little valley and water thing to check out down there. There's also a spirit spring here. Those little bears break this open. Maybe I needed the giants. Oh, 
Oh, you can break it open. Come on. Yeah. Are you? Ruin ahead. He's a hero's grave. Okay, let's do a couple things first. Mm, yeah, we have three new tiers. Well, I definitely found two of the three. One of them is Twiggy Cracked Tier. Briefly stop rune loss on death in mixed physic. So it's basically like one of those twigs, but for a short amount of time. I don't think I'll ever use that. Then there's Winged Crystal Tier. Temporarily reduces equip load in Mixed Physic. And I'm not exactly sure what the third one is. I did notice, though, I have two Crimson Crystal Tiers with different icons. Maybe that's... Well, each one restores half HP, so maybe that's so you can put two in and restore 100% HP. Maybe I got one of those? I'm not quite sure. But anyway, regardless, it's definitely... Whatever the third one is is definitely not something that I want to use over what I'm already using. Let's also offer our Bell Bearing. All oh, right, we have the glove wart picker's bell bearing. And yes, smithing stone three and four reinforces up to nine and up to 12. I know I've gotten so many smithing stone fives. I know I won't have a problem once I get to five. So three and four should be enough. Let's get, I can buy up to 89. You can buy unlimited. It's just, that's how much money I have. Let's get like, I don't know. 30. Now I can finally upgrade my weapons. Oh yeah, let's upgrade the Twin Bird Kite Shield. Guard boost going up to 51. 52. Well, I might as well just keep going. Like, until I get to Smithing Stone 5, I'm just using stones I can just buy, so. There we go. Now it's up to 55. All right, upgraded everything, upgraded the kite shield up to plus 12. And I also upgraded two weapons that I've been meaning to upgrade further. And now I finally can. The Keen Sword, or well, Keen is the modifier I put on it, but Guardian's Sword Spear. Got it up to plus 14, which is not as high as I can get it, but it's high enough to know whether I like it. And then also the Ant Spur Repair, I got it up to plus 17. Again, I can take it higher, but don't want to just yet. So this is the one that causes Scarlet Rod buildup, which I think is very powerful. This one right now doesn't cause anything special, though I can make it do something special. But that one has Bloodhound Step on it. Nope, that's not it. There we go. 
Yeah, I wanted repeating thrusts because I'm thinking each hit might count as a separate, like, application of Scarlet Rot Buildup. Doesn't even take that much FP. No, very little, actually. Yeah, well, we'll test those weapons out in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, we're going to explore this dungeon. <laughs>